everyone like subscribe and leave a nice comment if you'd like so I made um, stuffed bell peppers as you can see now with the peppers what I did ahead was just cut the top off you know clean the inside and boiled it in hot water <laughs> of course the water gotta be hot um, but um, this is uh, because I did promise you guys recipes, but I don't know recipes word for word. But what I did was um, I had some onions, garlic, and um, bonnet peppers uh, kind of sizzling in the in the uh, oil beforehand. Yes, I did. I made like a kind of like a little sauce because you don't want the meat to get dry. And so then I added the meat in and then of course I let that do its thing. And then so while the while the peppers were boiling. So afterwards, I just stuffed my peppers. Well, I drizzled some of the sauce into the into my um casserole dish. <laughs> and then I just kind of like uh stuffed the peppers in um with the meat and uh, just put some cheese usually it's shredded cheese that you put on top this one's melting because it's like yum yum um, and I use the fancy cheese because I want it to taste extra good right it's medium cheddar from hold on, Talamook and so Talamook call me I think that's how you say it Tiamuk? Tiamuk? I don't know. Call me up. I'm going to call them actually. Mm -hmm. So I can't use both hands. I'm going to stick it in the oven for a little bit. And later on you'll see the finishing product. Now you can opt to put whatever topping you want on top. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment if you like. <laughs> oh, for the seasoning on the meat, it was just... Um, Tony's Creole seasoning, some uh, paprika, and red, red, um, red pepper. If I had cayenne, I would have added cayenne also, but I ran out of cayenne last minute. Forgot. All right. So yeah. See you soon. Again, like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment if you'd like.